in this video i am going to explain how to interpret sem or fe sem uh, micrographs of uh, nanofibers so you can see this is a mesh of nanofibers uh, the fact is this is uh, the scale is in micrometer basically if you do not have a tool to measure the diameter or the length of a nanofiber so from here you can easily understand that what is the size of your fiber so this is 10 micron scale you see this white scale here this scale is 10 micron scale so you can understand that how small is your nanofibers okay so this is the the zoom the the, the magnification is very low so basically uh, let's go to the next uh, what information we can get from scanning electron microscope for from field emission electron microscope okay so you can see it only give us the morphology the surface the shape for example if you are talking about the diameter to so mean dimensions if you want to know about the length of the fiber if you want to know the diameter the radius of the fiber so all these information we can collect from scanning electron microscope if you wish to write in your thesis or in your research paper so you need to explain first about the machine that which machine you use and then you need to describe these data such as like the fibers you see you can tell that the fiber were uh, distributed smoothly you see there are a lot of holes here you see so very nice mesh here now the size in one micron here uh, let's go here and see you see here now this is another image here uh, now huh, this is the image uh, also for one micron so we just uh, zooming here the size here so look now so you can tell the readers that uh, how your fibers looks like whether it is smooth or whether it is rough and what is the average size of the dia you see here so some fibers are very thin and some fibers are very very thick here you see here so you can see here that the diameter of this fiber is 143 nanometer and this is uh, below uh, 100 nanometer so you can definitely call uh, this structure is a, a nanostructure because sometimes people define nanostructure nano material or nano fiber are below 100 nanometer and sometimes people say it is below 1000 nanometer so anyhow, anyhow uh, from this we can understand that the, the fibers diameter is something like that uh, average is 100 nanometer and you can see that the surface morphology are rough are uh, smooth and you can see that whether the the, 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 the nano fibers are in condensed form or uh, not in condensed form here you see here and additionally in, when you see the cross section the cross section of the fibers so you can tell the readers there whether the, the, the rods or the, the tubes this is also you can call tubes the tubes or the rods or the fibers are hollow or not hollow so when we test the cross section it is very hard in SEM machine to know how the cross section look like the cross section mean where they cut so when 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 where they cut there, so that is basically a cross calvi cross section here. Okay, so you can also tell there whether the the nanofibers are porous or not porous, and all this information you can see here. Uh, you can tell the readers that. Um, uh, so this is you see further uh, uh, increase the scale here, so the fibers look like this. You see. So now I understand that you can easily interpret that uh, how to. Uh, write about uh, ECM micrographs and also the uh, uh, field emission uh, scanning electron microscope micrographs. So this is very easy. Now we just get information about the surface morphology, whether the surface is rough, uh, the surfaces are hollow, or uh, what is the nature of the material, whether it is raw or whether it is uh, sphere or whether it is uh, some other shape. Thanks for watching.